the code talkers, in much the same manner that the Navajos used their native language to outwit the Japanese. During World War II, the code talkers of this mission have a similar task and technique. The major difference is that the directive of the code talkers has been altered since 1945. Now their responsibility is to get information to planetary inhabitants instead of trying to get it by them. Using their indigenous tongues, the more recently arrived code talkers are able to transmit vital interdimensional information to the cultures that surround them while bypassing those cultures' linear minds and models. And just as Navajo was Greek to the Japanese, the concealed communications of the code talkers are equally inscrutable to the locals and will likewise never be deciphered. Mission Control can say this with absolute certainty because cracking a code implies being able to translate its information into English or some other linear language. In the case of this code system, that would be like trying to force a three-dimensional object onto a two-dimensional plane. It can't be done. The fact is Mission Control could even go so far as to blatantly broadcast the key to the code and still no one would get it because the tool they would be using to get it with would preclude their getting it at all. Code talkers are cleverly positioned throughout the planet and their function is critical to the success of this mission. For that reason, Mission Control will not release any further information concerning their whereabouts or specific tasks. This is for their protection, as we cannot be assured that some nut isn't reading this manual who may consider code talking to be an un-American activity that rightly deserves another national inquisition. Likewise, we cannot be certain that some old age entrepreneur may not also be reading this material and be struck by this golden opportunity to charge everyone for this communication. Although any attempt to interfere with the code talkers would ultimately be futile, mission control is being conservative in this matter because we dislike any interruptions on our lines. If this necessary absence of details and specifics leaves you unsure whether you are a code talker or not, the clue may lie in your response to this manual. If it makes total sense to you and you intend to file it, in your bookshelf somewhere between the wonderful world of Macram and Chilton's complete repair guide for your car, it is very likely that you are a code talker here on special assignment. The Interuniversal Banking Community The members of the Interuniversal Banking Community are here to assist in dismantling the dysfunctionality of this world's economic structure. They are artists in the use of plastic currency and are armed with true master cards and limited credit and the knowledge of how to charge everything. The basis of their mastery lies in their complete understanding of the plastic nature of reality itself. They are not confused by form. They create it. They know that their attention and fascination are the foundation of the reality they build. Therefore they specialize in withdrawing their consciousness from dysfunctionality and placing it on spiritual truth instead. As a result of their efforts, we will shortly be in a position to present the planetary inhabitants with a viable economic recovery program. This program entails realigning this planet with a system of divine economics that the majority of the universe currently enjoys. The activity of the Interuniversal Banking Community will assist in the planetary realization that no life needs to earn the right to live. This is not a statement of economic heresy. It is a statement of liberation based on truth. Once a human population has received that medicine, survival will crumble, and an ending abundance will flourish in its place. Carte Blanche is now being extended to the entire human species by the Interuniversal Bank, and its bankers are here to approve unlimited human credit. Mission Control suggests you apply soon. The Intergalactic Board of Realtors The members of the Intergalactic Board of Realtors specialize in the reacquisition of all planetary realty for future development as space front property. As the board takes over, many of the current landlords will be evicted. This takeover does not imply that the third world is about to invade your countries and occupy your shopping malls. It means that survival is over. The old world systems are in collapse. Those who wish to continue in those systems will be graciously asked to leave because their motivator, fear, is being relocated to another planet.
where its subdivisions are still welcome. The Intergalactic Board of Realtors has already placed this planet in an interdimensional multiple listing for recolonization by the forces of light. The board is present on this plane to see that this planet's personal property frenzy comes to its natural end and that the illusion of planetary ownership is replaced by the legacy of planetary stewardship. That is the birthright that was intended. That is the heritage that will result in true equality and abundance in this precious planet. Light is the rightful inheritor of Earth. Our realtors are here to assure that the terms of the contract are drawn up properly as the deed is transferred to its legitimate heir. The cosmic computer jocks. Some mission members are in our special computer division. These members are experts in the art of interdimensional interfacing. They are this mission's cosmic computer jocks, and they have the capacity to act as the very linkage between the dimensions. This division specializes in the translation of third dimensional binary computer language into a fifth dimensional binary linguistic system. Although any computer expert in this planet will tell you that such a translation is not possible, what they actually mean to say is that they could not do it. That is why they are not being asked to. We have sent in our own specialists instead. Another aspect of this division's task is to bring new software to this plane with programs that no one here has dreamed possible. These programs are fifth dimensionally designed and apply to every aspect of the transmutational process. Not only can they unscramble existing confusing and dysfunctional programs, but they can also realign them with our database, which will automatically reprogram them back into light. Our computer team is here to disseminate our new software throughout the planetary sphere in preparation for the final dimensional link -up. Their very bodies are the silicon chips of our computer matrix, and their presence is the keyboard of our system. They are state-of-the-art hardware, and are completely immune to any computer virus, as well as very user-friendly.